Hello Sagittarius, welcome to Messages from Your Future Spouse. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. My name is Isabel from the TarotEmpress.com. In this tarot card reading, I'm going to be focused on messages from your future spouse, as you well know, but I'm also going to be leaving out energies of individuals that are narcissistic, toxic, or perhaps people that are not meant to be a part of your life, people that are not serving your highest good. If you are in an abusive relationship or in a relationship where a person has been neglecting you or treating you very badly, then my advice to you is to not marry that person. Or if you feel as if, you know, um, there's a possibility that you will marry this individual, this tarot card reading is not focused on those people that um, might be not good for you, right? Okay, so let's begin your tarot card reading. I'm going to pull a few cards from the Rumi Oracle deck. If you're interested in purchasing this deck, you can find the link in the description box below. Okay, so the very first card that I have for you is if destiny comes to help you, love will come to meet you. So this is a very interesting message. I think it might have come out for you guys before, I'm not certain, but I feel like there's this energy of which your love life is intertwined with destiny and meeting your future spouse is going to be predestined. There's going to be an element here of uh, things being written in the stars, things that you don't fully understand. You may meet this individual at a place that you don't otherwise frequent or you might meet this person in a way in which you don't really anticipate to meet anyone. So I feel like it's very heavily indicated that there's a possibility of um, having a rather unique connection with someone that's very special. Now, some of you might achieve an element of success in your work and you could be traveling for business or doing things in a rather unusual way. There's a possibility of meeting this person in that manner. So keep an open mind if you haven't met anyone yet. Uh, there is this element of the uh, unknown coming into play. Let's get another card, right? We have, you dance inside my chest where no one sees you, but sometimes I do, and that sight becomes this art, right? So that's a very interesting sort of message that has come out from your future spouse. I feel like you may have already met this person. For those of you that haven't, this person already envisions what you might be like or who you are as a person. And they could be a creative individual that makes art. They could be a painter. They could be a sculptor. They could be somebody that works with their hands. You know, there's a whole range of uh, things that they could do in order to creatively express um, the sense of who you are. So it feels as if this individual is already celebrating um, your energy before they've even met you. It feels as if this individual is wanting you to come into their world and uh, they're very excited for it. So I feel like there's this energy shining from inside of this person where they are trying to draw in this connection to their world. They think of you quite a lot. If you haven't met this person, I feel like um, they've already connected with your soul and you might not even know it. Sometimes, you know, you go through situations where you are longing for a specific person and you want this person, you want this person, but it's actually someone else that you're meant to meet, right? And there's a possibility of that that happens. But, um, you know, the wrong person will keep trying and trying and maybe they come in and out and they don't fully commit. And the right person, I feel like when they try to draw you in, that energy feeds into the energy of the wrong person as well and you get confused. You don't know what's trying to pull you in uh, whichever direction and I feel like sometimes people don't recognize that plays a role here so be aware of this if you notice that you've met somebody recently and they talk about art creativity poetry things of you know random things that uh, express who they are but also express their desire for love there could be something there so I would advise you to explore that especially if you haven't met um, your future spouse yet but if you have already this person you know they 
have you inside of their heart. You know, it's very deep sort of connection. There's an element of destiny connected to it as well. I choose to kiss you in the wind, for the wind is gentler than my lips, right? So this is a very gentle sort of love. This is the type of love that is very pure in nature. And when you think about these cards, you know, how they've come out, there's an element of destiny, there's an element of nature, there's an element of creativity. I'm picking up this energy of this person who admires art, or perhaps they're very creative in nature. They could be somebody that is well-cultured, or they could be somebody that likes you know, um, the random kind of things that other people wouldn't really like. So I feel like there's a sense of this person appreciating things in this world. Either they could appreciate architecture, sculptures, things of that nature. You know, they, they seem to be somebody that is um, either an alpha or somebody that, you know, has either read a lot or done a lot in their life. It feels like that sort of energy. This doesn't feel like the energy of somebody with... Um, you know, either a low IQ or somebody that just doesn't know things about the world. It feels like this person knows a lot about um, everything that is happening, right? That's how I'm picking up these energies. They do believe in destiny, right? They also have uh, the sense of uh, taking the love they feel for you, even though they might not have met you. For some of you, they might have met you and applying it in the things they do. So it fuels them. It gives them passion. It's like you are the muse to their life. Let's get some additional cards. Your future spouse wants you to know that you should believe in yourself, right? You have a lot of keys that can open up many doors. You have the ability to escape whatever difficulties or, you know, predicaments you're facing right now. They're also wanting you to know that you are on this uh, journey of life, you know, it's a passage of time. And the two of you might be um, at a distance to one another, or there could be this sort of... Um, element of the two if you're not meeting each other yet but I feel like this person is saying that you have the key to either finding them or to um, establishing who they are so that might encourage for some of you to go onto dating sites or to do things that um, would help you find this person right the next card is all about patience and having a sense of awareness right we have the observer this person could be watching you or perhaps uh, they want you to find them if you haven't already met this person yet. So it feels like they're telling you to be on the lookout, to um, you know pay attention to your surroundings. If you see somebody interesting, maybe go up and say hi. Or if you are willing, you can join certain sort of um, activities, hobbies, things of that nature, and you'll find them there. This could be art classes, it could be uh, sculpture classes, it could be clay making classes, it could be any sort of thing that you feel like you want to do. Surrender to the divine, right? If you want to find this person, if you haven't already met them, you're getting an indication from spirit to surrender to the divine. Yeah. Soul Dragon attunes you to the infinite to be still. In the silence, magic can happen. Be in the moment. So I feel like it's so incredibly important for you to be in the moment, especially if you want magic to happen when it comes to this specific connection. I'm sensing, yeah, that um, the two of you are drawing each other into one another's life. And this is something that's a very powerful, very um, interesting as well. Let's get another card.
future. Let go of the past and move forward, right? So for those of you that are female, you can see there's a very dashing man standing and um, he's sort of waiting for you to come and find him if you're a female. If you are a male, then obviously, you know, it's, it's you that has to go out and find this uh, person, female, if you're looking for a female. Any other additional messages here from your future spouse? I'm getting the impression here yeah, that you should walk away from people that are toxic or difficult from your future spouse, especially if you're dealing with an air sign, right? If this person causes you stress, your future spouse wants you to know that you should leave this person behind because they're not good for you. I'm also getting an impression here yeah, that uh, they want you to know that you should release your doubts and you should be more in control of your emotions. That will definitely help you. I'm seeing a lot of money. I'm seeing a lot of prosperity and happiness and joy. But I'm also noticing that they're telling you to leave behind the elements that have been, um, you know, making you upset or making you feel annoyed, right? Now, this could be your ex or it could be somebody that is really toxic or negative. But I'm picking up this energy of this person either being an air sign, could be a Gemini. And uh, your future spouse wants you to know that this person is not for you. It's just, um, you know, it's going to apply to a handful of you. It's not going to apply to all of you, right? So I hope you guys have enjoyed your messages from your future spouse. I hope it has provided you with a sense of understanding of what, you know, you have to look forward to. It's also given a lot of indications of how to find your future spouse if you haven't already, right? Have a wonderful day and take care.